If you're looking to study a new language, you are spoiled for choice. It's estimated that there are over 7,000 languages spoken around the world. As far as native speakers are concerned, Mandarin Chinese is the most spoken language, with over 1 billion people using it as their first language. English is the most used globally, with approximately 1.8 billion people either speaking it as a native or as their second language. We've come a long way since early humans first started communicating their very basic thoughts. Grunts and gestures were used to signal warnings or requests, but it's hard to accurately guess when verbal interactions started to be articulated. We do know, however, that languages started to take shape in both written and verbal form thousands of years ago. What were the earliest languages? What were the first languages used in human societies? And what are the oldest languages that are still spoken today? We have evidence of several languages that were in existence thousands of years ago in various locations around the world. Sumerian is the oldest known written language, and it was used in Mesopotamia, which is present-day Iraq and Kuwait. The earliest evidence of a language in any form was found on a limestone tablet with Sumerian text inscribed onto it. The tablet is believed to date back as far as 3500 BCE. Yeah, these Sumerian writings included administrative reports, letters, and teachings. The Sumerian language went through several transformations over time, but never really expanded in use beyond its basic geographical boundaries. The language had a series of vowels and consonants, and it gradually became more and more sophisticated. For example, texts show the language going from using a thousand symbols to denote meanings down to 400, often with multiple pronunciations for the same symbol. Sumerian eventually ceased to be used with the decline of Sumer civilization in around 2000 BCE, and Akkadian became the spoken language of the Mesopotamian region. Akkadian sprang from the Akkad dynasty, and it retained many of the characteristics of Sumerian, with a script of around 600 words and characters. This language prevailed until roughly the 7th and 6th centuries BCE, when the Armenians spread their language throughout the region. The Armenians were from what is now known as Syria, and the Aramaic language soon took hold of the Middle Eastern area. Aramaic was a largely influential language, a massive, I can't, I can't say that enough, it's enormous. It played a significant part in the birth of Hebrew and Arabic. Egyptian is an, another early language from another similar part of the ancient world. Texts have also been discovered dating back to at least 2600 BCE, while hieroglyphics go back even further. The Egyptians used hieroglyphics along with hieratic texts to form a formal and informal language system. Hieroglyphics were used for more formal situations, with the cursive-like hieratic texts being used for day-to-day -day purposes. It's really hard to know what ancient Egyptians sounded like, though, because there were no vowels, making it hard to ascertain what phonics were used. The Egyptian language lasted for thousands of years, when it was replaced by Arabic in the 7th century BCE. While North Africa and the Middle Eastern areas certainly produced their share of early languages and alphabets, it wasn't restricted to this region. Some very early languages also originated in Southern Asia. Sanskrit is the classical Indian language and evidence of its use dates back to more than 4,000 years ago. Ancient strips called the Veda were used in parts of Northern India and were aligned to a series of sacred Hindu texts known as the Vedic Sanskrit. These texts included dramas, poetry, and hymns, and they formed part of a language that would give birth to Hindi and Bengali. As a testament to its appeal, Sanskrit is still practiced and used today. Several regions throughout India still use Sanskrit as a written and spoken language, with up to 90% of villages claiming it as the main language. Sanskrit was also advocated by Buddha, who encouraged his followers to learn and study it. Today, throughout the world, anyone who's experienced a yoga class would be immediately familiar with the most basic Sanskrit expressions, as the language is seen as being able to convey concepts that other languages just can't. One of the world's oldest languages is Tamil, which originated in nearby southern India. Inscriptions on pottery and tablets trace the earliest known use of Tamil back to the 5th century BCE. The Tamil language encountered significant changes through time and developed a system using distinctively different patterns for colloquial or formal situations. Tamil is still used widely throughout southern Asia. Apart from being the main dialect in India's Tamil state, it's official language of Sri Lanka and Singapore. Tamil is also widely spoken today in many other countries that include Malaysia, Fiji, and South Africa. Another important area of the ancient Asian civilization is, of course, China. Evidence of the Chinese language's earliest writing systems go all the way back to approximately 1250 BCE. Chinese scripts were found in turtle shells and 
They can be traced back to the Shang Dynasty. It's highly likely that the alphabet had already been developed well before then, although exactly when is hard to determine. By the time of the Shang Dynasty, the Chinese language had an estimated 3,000 characters, most of which can still be read today. While other languages, such as Sumerian, have earlier records of existence, Chinese is similar to Tamil in that it's still used widely today. And Chinese is another extremely influential language as it's the main base for the evolution of other languages, including Japanese, Korean, and Vietnamese. In fact, at least half of Korean and Japanese words are Chinese in origin, with many Japanese characters coming directly from the Chinese alphabet. Now let's take a little hop across the Pacific Ocean and look at another ancient language and highly developed civilization, the Incas. The Incas used the Quejaca language, and it's, they spread its use throughout their empire in what is now Peru, Bolivia, Ecuador, and Chile. From there, the language continued to be picked up by other societies in Argentina, Brazil, and Colombia. The Huatua language itself is thought to have originated before the Inca Empire, with some linguistic historians dating it to around 2500 BC. Like Tamil and Chinese, it's still spoken today and is an official language in Peru and Bolivia, for a final link between the ancient world and today's English language, we can thank ancient Greece, with its origins beginning sometime around the 3rd millennium BCE. The Greek language had a profound influence on English. Some linguists estimate that over 150,000 English words are Greek in origin. For example, many English words begin with uh, the letters PH are actually from ancient Greece. Words like philosophy, physical, and photo can be all traced back actually thousands of years ago. I, it's absolutely mind-boggling. So, some other words like dialogue, idol, grammar, and economy are all from the original Greek vocabulary. The study of early languages is, I gotta do say, a fascinating one. They tell us how many human societies organize their need to communicate ideas effectively. Languages also give us an insight into a people's history and their cultural traditions. And while languages continue to evolve and borrow from each other, many ancient concepts are very much still in use. Why? 